Let's continue over toward this way. Maybe the smith cannot hear us on our approach. Our sneaky approach. Here, actually, can't I do this? Can't I do an old trick? Now I'm not wearing shoes. Doesn't this enhance my ability, or is that not exist in this one? <laughs> Let's see. There we go. We'll come back through for loot. Oh, shit. Wait, can I flip it while they're on it? Oh! Activate! <laughs> Fling them off! Yeah! When we had last left, the prisoner bound by prophecy, he had been looking through the quaint and humble town of Riverwood, just outside of Helgen and Whiterun both. There he stayed with Rayloff's sister and enjoyed some of their fine hospitality and heard of a strange, mysterious local treasure, yes, a golden dragon claw belonging to the local trader that had gone missing. But even more missing was that trader's sister's heart, for it was torn between two terrible men, one Sven and Feindal, who, intoxicatingly enough, had... Ooh, it was so mysterious. It was... It was... They were so sexy and mysterious because they had no last name. Neither of them had a last name. Sven and Feindal. Ooh. Tearing this... Her young lover's heart apart. Ooh, which... Which terrible wretch would she go with next? Ah, why, it was up to the prisoner to decide. And so that day the prisoner did use a little bit of emotional manipulation and blackmail to land her with Sven. The complete trash bard, who was now with the prisoner bound by fate, as they set out to go to a bandit cave. This is the Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim! Welcome back. Let's head on out. Good lord. Oh, fuck. We should probably also eat. <laughs> In these early times, we're gonna be hungry as shit, aren't we? Let's see. Let's also take some mountain flour. There we are. Let me yum yum up a little bit of this. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Let me change around as well. Let's see here. Just before I forget. Look, I meant to do this ahead of time, but <laughs> what can I say? I'm dumb as hell. <laughs> there we go. Good. I do like the footsteps to be a little loud. Let's eat some of this delicious cooked beef that he brought for us, right? Is that our heaviest unit? I believe it is. There we go. Thanks, Sven. Good thing you never get hungry. Whew, man, could you imagine that? <laughs> Thank goodness we can just starve Sven until the end of time. Alright, oop, shit. Oop, shit, shit, shit. How the fuck do we get over to this secret place that I do seek? How do I do that? Because we can't... We can't fast travel, right? Yeah. I mean, as we're on survival mode. But that shouldn't be too much of an issue, especially once we get a horse. Which I have no idea how Sven is going to manage when we have a horse. <laughs> Maybe he gets on the back! I don't know. What, what will you do, Sven? He's invincible, right? He can't die unless I kill him myself. I believe that's the case. Let's see, isn't it down here past the the stones, right? I want to say... Let's see, speaking of stones, yo, we need to hit up the steed stone, and, but that's pretty fucking far off. But I think the steed stone should be our first big goal, right? That way our heavy armor doesn't completely encumber us as it is right now. Because holy hell, look at this shit. Oh my god, 35 units just for the chest. And it's only gonna get worse from here. It's only gonna get worse. Alright. There is the... the Lady Stone? I think, out there on the lake? I believe. Which could be pretty useful. Oh, look, a poor little rabbit lord. How did you even die, pal? Was it Sven? Did Sven do it? Sven, you're a monster. But I love it, you terrible fucking asshole. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's up here, isn't it? Yeah, I think this is it. This goes to the... Mo yeah, look, totally. Okay. There we go. Sven, are you ready? Let's enter stealth mode. Trouble? Or maybe treasure? Ooh. Man, I don't remember them talking about stuff. That said, like I said, I... I never was really one for followers before. Yeah, we're detected already. Okay. Who is this guy? Is he some terrible asshole? 
look at him. <laughs> Will he say something to me, or should I just attack him? Sven? Should we attack this man? You picked a bad time oh, to get yep, lost, we should have just attacked him. Alright, Sven, do it. Cool. He hit his ear. Oh, fuck. Easily blocked. There we go. Oh, my God. Shit, we're not taking much in the way of damage. Fuck, look at us. We're strong as shit. Alright. Let's just eat some of this wine. Delicious. Take this. Oh, look, a new weapon. Right? Yeah. Holy shit. Equip that. Okay. And the rest of this we'll take. Here, Sven. Take some of this shit. I've got your back. Let's see. Trade what something. Do you want me to carry? I want you to carry all this garbage, man. There we go. I got like five million light helmets. There we go. Oh, shit. I just took it from him. <laughs> all right. Still getting accustomed to how things are set up here. All right. There we are. Good. Over here. Yeah, you take that. Great. How about over in this? Do you want to hold on to Olaf and the dragon or some shit? How about all these dumbass baskets? Do you want that? Yes, Sven, of course you want this. Of course you want to hold on to this shit. We may have to take these from him and drop them, because I'm not sure what kind of value they may or may not have. Alright. Let's go Let's on, head out. Then. Yeah. Are we actually on... Did it reset difficulty? Did I just kill a man on load? No, that's still Lejo. Oh my god. We're owning it up big style, Sven. Holy shit. Look at us. Ooh, look, chopping block. Yeah, how you get firewood or whatever. I'm pretty sure there's... Yeah, there's actually a use for it now. With the hearth fire stuff, right? Okay. Anything else? No, they, you could craft a few things, couldn't you? With wood? I believe. Alright, Ember Shard Mine. Should consider getting off a few sneaky... sneak attacks. Let's see. Oh, look at this. My god, all these bandits just cleared out this mine. They live in here now. <laughs> look at this! <laughs> Are they stealing wood from her lumber mill? Is that what they're doing? <laughs> <laughs> from Riverwood's lumber mill? They're taking all their wood! Is that it? Is that what they're doing here? Oh shit. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Me neither. It totally just crashed there. Alright, what's this do? Rocks? Oh god. What does it do, Sven? What the fuck does it do, Sven? I'm uneasy about this, dude. Let's see. Let's do a quick save. Oh, I'm hungry as well. Ooh! A super rock explosion. Alright, Sven. Let's quick load, because we can actually use that to our own advantage. Alright. Let's check it out. Head on over here. For fuck's sake, Sven! <laughs> you motherfucker! Oh, you ass! I forgot that they could do that. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. You know what, Sven? We don't need it. It's okay. We'll we'll beat them the old-fashioned way. Okay. Let's go over here. Ooh. This again? I told you we have someone standing guard out there. Don't forget the rock trap we rigged up. The rock trap. Stop your worrying and get some rest. Your shift is coming up, and I don't want you dozing off again like last time. Ooh, shit. That's right, the timber bandits of Ember Shard Mine. They came in here, cleared out all the mine, stole all that shit, and now, what's left? But timber. <laughs> they wanted to steal the Dragon Claw, but then they were like, Oh, fuck, some other guy took the Golden yeah. Dragon Claw? I scoped it out and everything! <laughs> we're just gonna have to start smuggling timber, I guess! Come on, boys! <laughs> Let's get hauling! <laughs> <laughs> it's just the worst shit to fucking steal. <laughs> you see all these bandits running out of town in the middle of the night carrying, like, gigantic logs. <laughs> They're all, like, wheezing and stuff. Old Hod comes out, he's like, 
Gerder, Gerder, there's someone here stealing the, the timber. <laughs> he starts, like, punching the shit out of him, like, Oh, I can't take it anymore! Because <laughs> they can't just sit down the big log. <laughs> you fucking idiots. Oh, what a bunch of dudes. Let's see, what have we got? Iron sword. Eh. Oh, look. Hey, dude, you can finally get a shield. Let's just take all. I've got your back. Here, let's trade. What do you want me to carry? You want a shield? Of course you do. Let's see. Oh, God, I almost did it again. <laughs> there you go. Look, he loves that shield. It's his fave. There we are. And then you can take this just as well. I don't need that if you'd like that. Okay. Perfect. Let's get going then. Oh, the Imperial weapon, I guess, must be better. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see, let's take all this as well. Man, yeah, that steed stone is gonna be super duper handy. What do you want me to carry? I want you to carry this shit, dude. Alright. Let's see. Is there a way for me to just quickly swap to yeah, left alt. Okay. Let's give him this. And then over here, this extra armor. Great. Great job, Sven. Let's get going then. Look at you. No one would even know you used to be a bard. Oh, he prefers axes. I mean, because it's steel, right? It's two-handed. I forgot. They got rid of that... of blunt... axe and sword. Right? Long sword, short sword. None of that anymore. Just one-handed, two-handed. And then you specialize with the perks in the middle. Oh, yeah. We can do some fucking mining. All right. What's over here? An empty pot. Empty pot as well. All this wood I cannot take. Fly. Amanita. Look, we're getting warm by this fire. Look, on the top. Oh my goodness, it's pulsating. I feel warm. Alright. Should we mine this stuff or make sure that everyone's fucking dead? I think we should make sure everybody's dead first. Okay. Let's see. This was, although this is like a very early on beginner dungeon, I think. It was not my first random dungeon that I did. Oh, look. Oh, you can hear someone working. A tattered journal. <gasps> what could it be about? Oh shit, it's from this skeleton who wrote it all down. They've had me working down here for days now. It's not the time that's getting to me, though. It's these tunnels. I've told them countless times now to add extra supports to the weak sections of the tunnel. If only we had more of those wooden beams that we reinforced with bronze bottoms. Honestly, if I hear the earth shift one more time above my head, I'll be so stressed I may stop drinking for good. I mean, what's an ord without mead? Oh my god, and he died and they left him here. With just his big ass poking out, his legs buried beneath. Good god, what a way to go. Can't even take his ass, though. That's fucked up. <laughs> Alright. Let's continue over toward this way. Maybe the smith cannot hear us on our approach. Our sneaky approach. Here, actually, can't I do this? Can't I do an old trick? Now I'm not wearing shoes. Doesn't this enhance my ability, or does that not exist in this one? <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. We'll come back through for loot. Oh shit. We had a guard posted outside. <gasps> we did. Wait, can I flip it while they're on it? Oh, activate! <laughs> Fling them off! Yes! <laughs> Get him, Sven! Fuck him up! Fuck him up, he's shirtless! He doesn't even have a shirt, Sven! Get him, Sven! Fuck, Sven! Get him! Get him! Get him, Sven! Get him, Sven! He's gonna mount my head! Oh shit, he's gonna fuck me too. <laughs> Alright. Here, let's apply some Poisson. Perfect. Let's get a little bit of healing going. Oh god, Sven. We're in a bad way over here, dude. Alright, good. More poison. There we go. Get him, Sven. Knock his ass off. Ooh! Sven, I'm coming in. I'm coming in for the assist. Oh shit. There we go. Get him, Sven. Get him! Get him! Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's the double team. High five there, Sven. 
Let's see. Bandit, what have you got? A silver ingot. Ah. And this fella. Let's see. Man, they, you know that we're playing on legendary because they resisted our fling maneuver. <laughs> Fuck. That was so good. All right. I want to trade what some things against Sven. All this trash. Let's see. Left alt. Perfect. There we go. Take that shit. And how about... This extra axe. Would you like to dual wield, Sven? Do you like the idea of that? Let's see. How about some of this shit? We got a lot of weird junk. Hmm. I could just eat some food, right? My god, look at this. Oh, the iron sword. Right. There we go. Okay, now we're under encumbered. Yo, Sven, how much shit can you carry? Holy fuck. Sven has like the strength of a thousand men. Let's see here. Let's drink some booze. There we are. Restores a bit of our hunger. Not a lot, but a little. Alright. Let's see, that miner is still mining in a major way. Here, should I grab a torch? I think torches are permanent, aren't they? Let's see. They go into mis miscellaneous? Yeah. Okay. And then we've got our shield favorited. Okay. Cool. Space toggle focus. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Alright. That's some mod stuff. Let's see. Look, it's like we're in oblivion now for real. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sven, I forgot the, the bridge. Alright, let's head on up there. <laughs> Past these naked men. Alright. Here we are. And... Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's go over there. How many more are there in here? I don't remember this place being too big. But for all I fucking know, it is. Alright. You know what? Actually, holding a torch isn't very sneaky at all, is it? What do you think, Sven? I think... I think it's a bad fucking idea, actually. Okay. Ooh, look. <gasps> the eerie shadow casted by his terrible work. Ooh, money. Oh, there he is. What was that? It was a specter in the night. Oh shit, yo, did he come through? Where's he coming at from? There he is on the dude dar. Sven, you're fucking wild. You're a wild ass man, Sven. Oh shit. Alright, Sven, we're just going in. Alright. Look at Sven tank! Holy shit, dude! Ah, there we are. It's nothing. Ah, should have wore a shirt, you shirtless man. There we go. He just thought those leather straps would protect him. But hey, I see. You know what? He's got priorities. He's protecting his his jewels down there. All I'm right. right behind you. He's got to protect the dragon claw. <laughs> what do you want All me right. to carry? Here, Sven. I got more shit for you, friend. There we go. A mace. Perfect. All this shit. There we go. Hey, why is this grayed out? Oh, it's probably too heavy. I see. Okay, Sven's getting encumbered, finally. You lead, I'll follow. Alright. Let's go over here. Look at all this shit, Sven. Look at all of this shit. Okay. You know what, Sven? I'm starting to think that maybe... We should ditch all the dumb stuff that we've got. <laughs> Sven, what do you think? Should we just ditch all that? Alright, let's do it. Here. Let's trade. What do you want me to carry? No, I want to carry your junk, dude. That sounds bad. There we go. Look, because this might end up being worth fucking nothing. Alright. Let's get going then. Let's see. Oh shit, look at all this food. Holy hell! One tomato is 18 points of hunger? Holy fuck! Tomatoes are fucking outrageous, dude! Okay. Let's store all of our baskets in here. There we go. Our buckets as well. Good. Kettles, we don't need them. Wooden bowls, don't need it either. Good. Alright. 
Let's see, let's just go through all of this. That's the sack we put everything in. Honeycomb! Oh, I'll eat one. Restore stamina. Delicious. Okay, big sack, ooh, filled with salt piles. I should eat one just to reveal it, but you know what? It's too valuable for cooking. Okay, in here. An Imperial light helmet. A necklace as well. No sense in wearing a necklace if it doesn't give me a bonus though, right? No one's like, oh my god, you look beautiful today. I love the necklace. <laughs> no one does that. All right, here we go, more salt. The most valuable thing of all. I mean, hey, you know what? I played enough Civ. I know how valuable that salt can be. There we are. And then more barrel. Mora Tapinella. Let's eat some. Whew, thank goodness it's a boon. Okay, good. Sven, I need you to hold all this shit before I, like, I'm fall over. Here. Trade what some do you want shit. Me to carry? There we go. And let's see. Take the sword. Ooh, shit, yeah. <laughs> Sven's not gonna be able to take much. Okay, fair enough, Sven. That's fair enough. How about this fun hat? Hmm? You like that hat, Sven? No? How about this necklace? There we are. And what else? What else dumb shit can we give Sven to hold on to? I mean, we could give him some pelts and stuff, right? Why not? There we go. We're probably gonna have to dump this Warhammer. <laughs> We're probably gonna have to get rid of that. Okay. Let's see. Oh shit, yo, Sven pre prefers a two-hander? What Lead the fuck? Up. Okay. Let's see. Let's ditch this shit. Drop it there. Sven, I thought you were a sword and board guy. But I guess not. Holy shit. Okay. Sven, do you need some arrows? Right behind you. What do you want me to carry? Let's see. How many arrows do you have? He's got a shitload. But you know what? What's a few more? Because I fucking can't carry them. <laughs> Let's get going then. Good man, Sven. Good man. All right. Let's do a quick save here. Head on out. Oh, Sven. Oh, God, Sven, what have, you, what have you done? There we are. He's too ready in his battle pose. Okay. Good, we've got some more shroomages here. Perfect for the taking. Good. Alright, should we pick into this? I think it's just a poop hole. Look, isn't this just where they poop? Yeah. This is their privacy door. <laughs> Great. Okay. Where is this Smith dude at? He's hammering away like nobody's business. Oh shit. Where you at, friend? Oh look. Nine. What was that? Shut the fuck up, Sven! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Alright, fuck it, we're going in. Okay. Oh fuck, I'm fucked up! Oh Sven. Oh Sven, this was bad. <laughs> He's gonna fuck me, Sven! All right, let's drink some potions. No one bests an orc. Sven, no one bests an orc. Sven, I need you in melee. I need you in melee. Sven, swap a roo, swap a roo. All right, <laughs> get him, Sven. Get him. Holy shit! Look at his power. Shit, she's gonna snipe me. Oh shit! Another dude from behind. Oh my god! Oh my god, Sven! No! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. All right. Round two. Okay, Sven. It's cool. Here, let's actually heal up this time. <laughs> there we are. Mmm. Don't you wish you could do this, Sven? Huh? How how's that? There we go. Okay. And then, head on up here. Let's do a little quick saving. Ooh. All right. You know what? Let's eat. Let's get some food in us. Let's see, let's eat some of this cabbage soup. Well fed even. Oh, perfect. Okay. I think that's as high as it can go, I want to say. Alright. Let's see, Sven, I'm gonna go for the stealth archer maneuver. 
Oh shit, no I'm not, Sven. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> shit, I should throw my axe like a tomahawk or something. Oh shit. Sven, engage. I've got your back. I need you All to right. do something. Do it? him! Do him, what Sven! Do, need? do that man! Okay. Five, Get him! Nine. Get him, Sven! Good shit. Alright. Now the other guy is going to appear, right? Let's go over here. Let's take this guy out ASAP. I'm on your side. Sorry, Sven. I'll show you a real Careful, Sven! Hey! Focus fire! The sniper! Oh! His power attack is powerful! Get him, Sven! Get him! Uh. <laughs> Holy shit! Hang in there, Sven! Don't eat my food! Alright. Good shit. Sven, the sniper! Get the sniper! Get her! <laughs> Let's quick save. Oh shit, look at Sven dodging arrows left and right. Me too! Me too! Look, I dodged that one. <laughs> Get her, Sven! Blast her ass! Alright, I'm going in for the... For the supercharge! Hey! Oh shit! Sorry, Sven! I'm wild as hell! Is there another one? No, I think we got them all, Sven. Oh, I think we got them all, Sven. Good fucking job, man. Alright. Let's see. Should we take some of this shit? Ooh, Nord Mead. Look, I'll eat that on the spot. Okay. Hide boots. We could take some arrows. I think we will. There we are. Here's Sven. Give you some more. What do you Trade want me some to stuff. Get? There we go. And left alt. Perfect. You know what? I'll hold on to two arrows. Right? That seems good. Lead on. Okay. What do we have over here? Ooh, look. Charred skeever hide. Oh, that sounds delicious. Alright. Some potato, wine. All sorts of goodies. Okay. Let's see, I do actually need to drop more shit. <laughs> Let's put on my boots. Fuck, we really need that steed's, uh, stone, don't we? Oh my god. What a fresh fucking hell. Alright. Let's see, how about we start eating shit? Eat a torch bug thorax. Mmm! Restore stamina! How about this, some salt? No, I can't. I can't do that. Eat this? Mmm, restore magicka. Mmm, restore stamina. Ooh, how about this? Mmm, resist fire. Oh, wait, the skeever hide is... Oh, I guess it is the hide. It looks like food, though. So I'm eating it. Bone meal. Some butterfly wings. Oh, it hurts me. Oh, that butterfly was poison. Ah! Oh, Sven. All right. Ooh, we can harvest some food here as well. Look at all this shit. Great. Sven, I love it. Let's see, what else can we get? One more pheasant. There we go, pheasant breast. Okay, what do we have here that we can ditch off? Fuck. Yo, not much. <laughs> not much at all. My god, maybe I should ditch this bow and arrow. You know what? Fuck it. Let's ditch it. Look at me, I'm playing fast and loose here. Alright. Let's go over this way. Wow, look, they have a treasure trove of food, I bet. Oh, some amethyst, a whole bunch of gems and stuff. I love it. Potatoes out the ass. A little chest here filled with 41 Gs. Sack of cabbage. Tomates. Potatoes. Salt. Flour. Can you cook, like, bread and shit? Maybe you can with hearth fire. Let's see. I know you're hungry, Sven, but you're just gonna have to not eat. Okay, carrots and potatoes. There we go. Oh my god, beautiful. Sven, I got so much fucking food here, I can't even move. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, should I... Hmm. I've got your back. Let's see. Do we do have some just carry? garbage shit we can give to Sven? I mean, I guess I could give him, like, a pickaxe and stuff, right? Here, Sven. What kind of weapon are you preferring? The greatsword, right? Yeah. 
All right. We're going to have to have you ditch maybe the steel axe? No, that's pretty good. The iron one. How much does that weigh? 11 units. Okay, perfect. There we go. Oh, his armor changed. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> Sven, why did you do that? That's very weird. Okay. And then... What do you want me to carry? I want you to carry this shit. Here we are, the woodcutter's axe, because I don't need that. Here we are. Okay. Down this way, and then we'll drop the iron one. You lead, Good. I'll follow. Okay. <laughs> Fuck me. Let's go down this way. Ooh, look. More food. Good. Did we check her body? Yeah, we did. There's some woot loot over there. Over yonder. Oh yeah, we have to be careful of traps. I'm not yet accustomed to the... the Skyrim traps. But they do exist. In a major way. Got some coin. This thing. Pick into here. Oh. Wonderful. Okay. Oh look, a steel battle axe. Sven, do you want this? Holy shit. I bet he does. Alright. Sven, look at this. Alright. Trade what some shit. Want to carry? I want you to carry this huge honkin' battle axe, dude. Alright. I'll take that greatsword. And then you can take the battle axe. There we are. Lead I can't believe Sven prefers two-handers. Fuck me. Ah! Oh, shit. Did I just drop a sword on my toe? <laughs> Fuck, I guess so. Alright. Man, Skyrim. Full of immersion. Okay, let's also heal ourselves up. There we are. Beautiful. Goodness, it starts you with a heal. And one that I don't have to spam and, like, hold the shield button for. <laughs> Alright. Good. Let's see, up here? Oh, this might be, like, a quick exit, right? Here, we'll come back that way. Right. The beauty of the Skyrim dungeon. Quick exits everywhere. Some people say it's unbelievable. I say, it's unbelievably handy! <laughs> Let's go over here. Down this way. Ooh, I'm getting sleepy. Ooh, I'm getting so sleepy. Alright. Down here, is there anything in this water zone? Hmm. There's a big sword that I threw down here. I can take a shower real quick. Alright. Good. Yeah. Got some more shroomage. Ooh, down here. Chopping block. Ooh, look, some iron ore. Light armor forging. Okay, I'll take that. Take the iron ore as well. Let's see. Ooh, fuck. There's not a smelter here, though. Unfortunately enough. Let's see. We should... Hmm. We should haul all this shit back, is what we should do, right? Maybe we take a nap in here, and then we eat, right? I think that's how we manage this. <laughs> there we go. All right, Sven, there were some bedrolls back there. Let's take a snooze here, Sven. I'm tired as shit. Okay, here we are. Oh, some money. Look, this is like the opposite of an inn. We get a free bed... And we can eat. Or we, we can... I mean, we can eat. But we get money as well. Okay. Let's go for eight hours. There we are. Perfect. You, can you be awakened by some terrible asshole in the dead of night? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I forgot we got a level up. Okay. I think we should go with health again. Right? Well, maybe not. Maybe we balance it out with some stam. Yeah, let's go with a little stam. There we go. Cool. Wow, we got another one. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do more stamina. There we are. Okay. Let's see. What kind of shit do I want to pick up here, though? Let's check block, maybe. Or smithing. Actually, maybe we should go with smithing. Right? There we go. Perfect. All right. And then we can pick up heavy armor. Or we could get block. 
Hmm. I'm not sure. We could also pick up sneaking, lockpicking. Man, there's so many good things. Jeez. Or conjuration. Conjuration will be extremely useful in a bit. You know what? We go with conjuration. There we are. We'll invest that for later. Okay. We're feeling rested. Perfect. Am I hungry, though? Let's see here. Wow, does hunger not actually progress as I'm sleeping? Maybe not. Good to know. Okay. Let's eat all these big-ass cheeses, I think. Right? Can I sort by weight? Yeah, there we go. Look. This cheese weighs two units. Because it's a gigantic cheese. Yum. I've eaten it. Okay. Let's drink. Let's get just drunk off our ass. First thing in the morning. Getting fucking wasted. Perfect. Okay. Let's head on back here. Make sure we've looted everything from this section. There we go. Come on, Sven. We could probably eat some more shit, I, I'm thinking. Right? Look, some shroomages here. Inside this water zone. Anything good here? I forgot they did the murky water, and it's hard to do the trick. We can In fact, I don't even know if you can. We did it there for a split second, but I think it was a fluke. Like, you can't do the trick where it's like, oh, now the underwater's not super murky. Okay. Good. That said, I think it's worse in... in past games. I think water has differences of murkiness now, right? Okay, let's mine some of this shit up. Beautiful. Get some of that sweet iron ore. Can make like 50 million daggers. There we go. Good. Are there any other iron veins in here? I'm not sure. Okay. Let's head on over here, right? Good. I completely lucked out on that. I, I acted like I knew what I was doing there. I was just like, hey, that looks kind of like iron. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Sven is getting iron lung. Which sounds... Oh, wait. Is, is iron lung a good thing or a bad thing? That's definitely something I've heard before. I think it's like some kind of... I don't know. Some kind of power. Iron lung. Oh, jump over there. Okay, and that's the path in, which there's definitely no ore over there, right? Eh, maybe. Let's see. Did we run by ore in our speediness? We may have done. Eh, fuck it. Oh, Sven's about to fall over dead. He just walked into a boulder. <laughs> Poor Sven. <laughs> he wasn't he wasn't expecting to engage in the adventuring life. But he's willing to risk it all <laughs> for Camilla. <laughs> He's putting it all on the line. Okay. Oh, yeah. Anything? Nope. Nothing. Okay. Whoa! There we go. Great. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's a little bit of gold. Yoink. Hey! How about that? All right. Great. Let's get out of here, Sven. Wait, is this more? No. Okay. <laughs> I didn't get lucky that time. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Let's search this wall for secrets. Oh, shit. I'm hungry now. Okay, that's fine. I've got plenty of alcohol. All right. Let's go on down this way. Oh, look. Some more iron ore. Great. Look at this shit, Sven. I should have you do this. Can he do this? Can I, like, give Sven the unit there and have him mine it? Huh. We'll have to try that the next time we see one. All right. Let's see. Sven... Are you good at mining shit? I mean, there's nothing to it. You, in fact, it looks very easy in this game. <laughs> we hardly use any force whatsoever to mine shit up. We just... Oh, my God. Now, if there were ever a poop bucket... We joke a lot about poop buckets in games. This is a poop bucket for sure. This is 100% a poop bucket. People be pooping. All right. Over here. Can you actually smelt with this thing? This isn't like a smelting unit, is it? I don't think so. Maybe. No, yeah. You can craft other shit. The blacksmith forge is used to create new weapons and armor from raw materials. Okay. 
But we can't craft up, like... Whoa. Oh, these must be... Yeah, these are hearth fire things, aren't they? <clears throat> okay. Whoa, cork bulb arrow. What? Is cork bulb root in this game? That is so wild. Look, it's got 10 damage on it as well. It's on par with steel. Maybe cork bulb arrow is from... What do you call it? The Dragonborn DLC. Shit, I don't know. Alright, let's see. Can I do some grinding here? Use the grindstone to improve weapons. All improvements require specific materials, which you can buy or find in the world. Great. Alright. I mean, I may as well improve this, right? Hmm. No, probably not. Probably better to not improve, but to craft garbage, right? That's probably the smart move. Level up our smithing quickly. Alright, is this iron? No. Okay, it's hard to tell inside this cave. I'm starting to kind of remember how it looks. And I'm remembering... It looks kind of like ass. Alright. Here, we may as well get the dialogue for this, just as well. Or the prompt. Use workbenches to improve armor! All improvements require materials. The amount of improvement depends on your smithing skill. Dope. Okay. I think we got all of that shit. Good, good, good. Over and around here. Let's go up this way. Right? And we checked out all of these. Yep, all the sacks are empty. We've looted all this stuff. There's a bunch of blood here for some reason. Oh, look, tomato. Oh, shit, we did miss out on some... Wow, tomato and salt. Oh, my God, it's a good thing we double-checked. Did these, like, respawn after I slept? No, I just missed them. Okay. Sven, don't tell anyone about this. Okay. If you want to see Camilla ever again, Sven... <laughs> Alright. Is that a threat to, to Sven or to Camilla? I'm not sure. Maybe both. <laughs> Here we are. And then, let's run on over here. Head on back out. Good. Oh, look. Is this... Nope. Shit. Nothing. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I forgot that these were introduced in this game. Yeah. Man. Alright. They hung up some butt. Very good. Okay, anything else before we exit here? Nope, I think that's it. Let's head on back to Skyrim. There we are. The island of Solstheim is located in the northeast of Skyrim. The northern maiden out of Windhelm is known to occasionally take passengers out that way. <laughs> I think he was about to say. All right, Sven, where'd we pop out at? Uh, over here. We should visit the local trader. Right, Sven? Hell yeah. Maybe Camilla will say something as we go by with Sven. She'll be like, Oh, Sven, look at your fucking cool armor. Wow, where'd you get that big super battle axe? Oh, Sven, you're cool as shit. <laughs> there we go. Mind some of this up. Perfect. Good. Yep. Wow, there's a lot in this one. Okay. You know, I meant to have Sven do that, but, well, what can you do? All right. Let's see, I'm going to also eat some cheese. You can't actually cook cheese into anything, can you? It's just good for eating. Wow, just eating raw flour actually does replenish your hunger. Good to know. Alright. Now, let us go up over this way. There's a river wood. Is there anything else we can access from up here? Hmm. I think we can leave town from back this way, though, right? Oh, shit. That was like the heaviest mushroom ever. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's see. I'll drink a wine. Good. Let's head on down here. Because I should not be... <laughs> we should not go up there. At least not yet. Alright. Here we go. Hey, everybody, we're back! It's me and Sven, the heroes of the day. Eat a shit, Feindall. Mmm. Okay. Here we go. Great. 
All right, let's head over here and we'll sell off our weird dumb shit. Sell it off real fast. All right, Sven. Show those thieves not to steal from Lucan Valerius. All right, Lucan. I've got your back. Let's see. Let me buy or take some care? of that stuff off of you. There we are. Look at all this fucking armor. Holy shit, Sven. I can't believe you, Sven. What a fucking hoarder. All right. Here we go. Take all these. Now, because we're on survival, my back's not just going to instantly break because of doing this, is it? <laughs> like, I'm not going to be in deep shit, am I? <laughs> For pulling all these things off of them? <laughs> oh, I hope not. All right. Take all these swords, daggers, iron maces, iron swords, steel maces, steel war axes. Okay. Here, let's also give him the pickaxe. We can see if this actually works. Right? I mean, worst case, we just have to take it off of him, right? Okay. Good. You lead, I'll follow. The sooner you... F oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Okay, Lucan. Now, let's sell all this shit off. There we go. Let's see. We'll sell off two of these, one of these. There we are. Just get rid of all that shit. You know, we're getting rid of the two arrows as well. Fuck that. Not until we get that steed stone will I carry around a whole bunch of other garbage. There we are. Man, are we going to have to worry about, like, the Solstein singing choir coming to attack me? You know what I'm talking about? Are they going to show up and, like, try and bust my ass off? Because holy shit, I don't want that. <laughs> Is that a, something I should be afraid of? Now look, should we get rid of this tattered journal? Ooh. We should. We read it. You know what? We don't need to hang on to it. Same goes for uncommon taste. I don't have time to assemble a library yet. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah. Oh, wait. We can get rid of Ruby and Garnet. Let's do that. We don't need any of those. Actually, we could have made jewelry from it, but eh, we need the money more right now, right? Actually, what do you oh, have for sale, this, dude? A bit of that. Let's see. Books. Can I summon something? Frostbite. Raise zombie. Yo! Yes! We need that. Oh, I need to raise a zombo. Fury as well? Oh, these are good. Alright, look. We're buying it. Lesser ward. No, oak flesh? That could be useful. You know what? We'll buy that. Fury as well. Good. And what kind of weapons you got? Steel, a wooden sword. That must be from Hearthfire, right? All the garbage we sold him. Great. Sh should I buy some potions as well? I think I should. Let's play it safe here. Alright. Magicka poison. Potion of resist fire. <laughs> as if I need that. Let's buy a cure disease. There we go. Perfect. Great. He's got a whole bunch of food. Baked potatoes. Hmm. Okay. Good. Alright then. Thanks, dude. Let's see. Let us... Now... Oh, shit. Let's learn our stuff here. Spell tomes. Waka, waka, waka. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Magic... And then, let's go through... Oh, fuck. This is just all, right? Favorite that, favorite that, favorite that. Perfect. Okay, let's see. What can I cook up here? I need stuff that restores a shitload of hunger. That doesn't do anything. Cabbage soup, however. Ooh, shit. Ooh, shit. Salmon steak. Man, we need to go just like salmon grabbing. Holy hell. Alright, yeah, look, we can actually sort by hunger here. Hmm. So 380 is as high as it goes. Cabbage soup? For real? Is the best shit? Oh my god. Oh, we need fire salts for some of this. Oh, okay. Good thing I don't have to worry about none of this food going bad. Thank god. Alright. 
we'll just have shit that can heal our hunger, because that's more important at the moment. Alright. I'll make... You know what? No. Can you make hot cabbage soup? Yeah, you can. Eh, I mean, cabbage is like, no biggie. There we go. Yeah, I want that. There we go. Let's just make as much as we can. Perfect. Some salmon steak? Mmm. Yeah, we should go catching salmon at one point or another. There we go. Cool. Thanks, dude. Alright, Sven. Let's head on back over this way. There we are. Good. Should we check in with old Mr. Magoo here? What's up, Alvor? Do you actually trade? Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Ooh, fuck. Jeez. Hey, need any help around the forge? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Oh! That's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. I forgot he tutorializes you. Okay. Aye. Let's smith him some shit. Look at this, Alvor, I'm a smith! Ooh, I don't like his hat situation at all. <laughs> Ugh, Sven, that's nasty. No, wait, Alvor, fuck you! Alright, whew. Thank goodness, he needed an iron dagger. There we go. That's Boom. a decent weapon you've made there. Alright, thanks. Whatever you need. Buy you smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. Alright, well here's an iron dagger. I just forged it. It's simple and strong just as well. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Alright. Man, fucking Hod and Girder or whatever, they didn't teach me all sorts of cool stuff. Good day. Alright. Grindstone. Here we go. And let's turn that to fine. Wow, it uses four ingots? Shit, man. Alright. Do I get, like, an item after this, or what? Iron and steel, mostly. I might even have some of your fancy elven pieces lying around somewhere. Wow, what a dick. Come on, Alvar, I thought we were friends. <laughs> Why you gotta say it like that? Here, I sharpen the iron dagger. This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. Great. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Okay. Man, I remember this was so fucking cool. That they added in all this stuff. Okay. All Good. Right, then. Let's start tanning. Scritchy scratch. The tanning rack is used to turn animal hides to leather. And to cut leather into strips. Both leather and leather strips are used in creating and improving weapons and armor. Great. Well, let's make some. Pew! Okay. There we are. Did he actually give me... Something to leather up. I could forge you a war hammer that would crush a giant's head like a walnut. <laughs> you the sneaky type? Got some nice daggers around here somewhere. Yeah, here's that leather you wanted. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Okay. Let's All see. Right, hide helmet. Here in the forge for whatever reason. Here we are. And hide helmet. Perfect. Look at me, Alvor, I've done it. Yes? Here's the hide helmet. Huh. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Okay. Aye. And workbench. There we are. Yeah, you better fucking pay me for this. This isn't like some free labor I'm giving you, man. We are getting skill, though, right? You look iron and All right, helmet. Talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? All right. Man, so why did you need me to do that? Huh. 
I thought he needed the dagger. That's so weird, Alvor. You have a weird way of doing stuff. The finest weapons and armor. Let's see what you got. Actually, hey, hey, Alvor, how about uh, how about a fine dagger and fine helmet? <laughs> you piece of shit. There we go. Ooh, should we get his cool shield? Hmm. Look at all this stuff. Man, you got a lot of weird things. Look, he's got an enchanted axe, just as well. Good god, man. Okay, how about your armor here? Oh man, he's got just steel-ass armor. Hmm. Iron helmet as well. Yo, look at all this stuff. Okay. Hmm. We'll have to come back here when he's sleeping and steal all of it. <laughs> what can you tell me about Riverwood? Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Sounds good. Until All right. Next time. Yeah, I would be afraid that I would burn everything the fuck down. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we need to come back here and just steal this shit, right? Thanks, Alvor. <laughs> Let's see. Now. Hmm, I mean, Whatever I could just take need. it and fucking run. I, smear if it's simple and strong. I don't I know if I could forth. survive Alvor, though. <laughs> I, don't, I think he would, like, two-shot me or something. Look. He's looking the other way. Alvor, pay attention to your work there, friend. Let's see. Damn it, Alvor's got fucking eagle eyes. Fucking eagle-eyed Alvor. You looking for a new blade? Damn you, Alvor. All right, fine. We're not sneaking one by him, so it seems. At least for now. All right, yeah, I think the first smelter you encounter is in Whiterun, right? Oh, shit, we're hungry. For cabbages. There we go. All right. Let us... Let's make some more cabbage food real quick. Some cabbage soup, because that shit's real good. There we go. Over here. And... Cabbage... Ooh, apple cabbage stew. Huh. Man, F that. It doesn't restore hunger. Empty calories. There we go. That's not how that works. <laughs> Empty calories would still sate your hunger. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Over here. Now, oh, yeah. This is Garbo. It's bared... I restore more hunger by eating the, this rabbit haunch raw. Just raw dogging it. All right. Cool. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. All right, all right, all right. Cool. Well, holy shit. I think that does it for now. When next we come back, we'll probably head on out to... Hmm, should we go get a... We can either go for... Bleak Falls Barrow and get the claw back, or we could head out here somewhere. I think it's this one, maybe here, and get the Lady Stone, which isn't great, but it's nearby, right? It'll increase our regen on stamina and health, I think, right? Maybe Magicka too? I'm not sure, right? We could, we, we really need to get a hold of the Steed, though, because the Steed is so good. I went and looked it up, and it makes it to where all of your armor and stuff weighs nothing. All of your equipped armor. It's like you already have the perk. Which is going to be so useful for us. Maybe once we get to White Run, we'll just make a beeline for it, right? Maybe that's what we'll do. Okay, but for now, if you'd like I'm to stick around, around we will of course be doing a little bit of reading. And what's on our list of shit to read today, but... Let's see, how about... Olaf and the Dragon. Why not? There we are. Olaf and the Dragon. By Adonato Leotelli. 
One of the more colorful legends in Nord folklore is the tale of Olaf One-Eye and Numenex. Long ago in the First Age, a fearsome dragon named Numenex ravaged the whole of Skyrim. The dreadful drake wiped out entire villages, burned cities, and killed countless Nords. It seemed that no power in Tamriel could stop the monster. This was a troubled time in Skyrim's history, for a bitter war of succession raged between the Holds. The Jarls might have been able to conquer the beast if they had worked together, but trust was in desperately short supply. Wow, very similar times. Or is this, is this fictional? Yeah, colorful legends in Nord folklore. A skillful warrior named Olaf came forward and promised to defeat the beast. In some accounts, he is the Jarl of Whiterun. In other versions of the legend, Olaf promises the people of Whiterun that he will capture the monster if they name him Jarl. Oh, right. Isn't this actually based off of real shit? Yeah. Because isn't that the whole tale toward the end of the main quest? Anyway, at any rate... Olaf ventures forth with a handful of his most trusted warriors and seeks the beast out, eventually finding Numenex in his lair deep atop Mount Anthor. Needless to say, it's an epic battle. First, Olaf comes at the dragon with his axe and his shield. Some variants of the legend say that Olaf and the beast battled with blade and claw for days, but were too evenly matched for either to gain an advantage. Most accounts hold that Olaf, perhaps frustrated that his weapons are completely ineffectual against the dragon, finally casts them aside, giving voice to the rage that has been building within him. Olaf unleashes a terrible shout. Here again, the stories diverge. Many accounts hold that Olaf did not realize he possessed the power of dragon speech, while others suggest that he had long possessed this gift but wish to test himself against the dragon in martial combat first. Virtually all variations of the legend, however, agree on what happened next. Using the awesome powers of the dragon language, Numenex and Olaf engaged in an epic shouting duel atop Mount Anthor. So forceful are their words. They are said to shatter the stone and split the sky. Finally, Numenex collapses from a combination of injury and sheer exhaustion. Somehow, and this detail is conspicuously absent in virtually every account, Olaf manages to convey the dragon all the way back to the capital city of Whiterun. The people of Whiterun are suitably impressed with Olaf's hostage. They build a huge stone holding cell at the rear of the palace, which they rename Dragon's Reach. This enormous cell serves as Numenex's prison until his death. Olaf himself eventually becomes the High King of Skyrim, putting an end to the War of Succession. Presumably, his great deed made him the only leader upon whom all the people could agree, and so the land once again has peace. As a visitor to Skyrim, I find this tale both fascinating and highly entertaining. Man, I wonder if that will eventually be the fate of what's his butt. No, because if you go with, if you side with the Stormcloaks, doesn't Ulfric become imposed as like the High King? I mean, I guess I could, if you side with the Empire, I could see a way in which like Jarl Bar- Balgriff could somehow become High King, right? But I think they also put someone in place. But I think the, it's it's more understandable for me that that's the easiest path for path for a Balgriff, right? Anyway, let's see. It is one of the most celebrated legends of the Nords, and one, uh, and one can easily understand why. It's a story of surpassing heroism, in which a resourceful and worthy Nord does battle with a truly terrifying adversary, and emerges victorious by yelling him into submission. <laughs> He just yells at him a lot. No, no, stop. (laughs) The only way in which this could have been even more of a Nordic tale would be if Olaf beat Numenex in a drinking contest. The legend is not without its doubters, however. The bard Svaknir, 
who lived during Olaf's reign, wrote and performed an, an alliterative verse that challenged Olaf's version of the events. Enraged, the High King threw the rebellious bard in prison and destroyed all written copies of the verse. <laughs> Amazing. How I would love to lay hands on a copy of that verse. I admit, I'm immensely curious to know what assertion Svaknir made about how Olaf really defeated Numenex. There are a few ancient bard texts that provide one possible answer. These tomes suggest that Numenex was particularly foul-tempered because he was extremely old. In these accounts, the dragon spends his final years terrorizing the countryside before flying off to the top of Mount Anthor to die in peace. When Olaf finds Numenex, a dragon is too weak to defend himself. Olaf and his men capture the beast without effort, but decide to take advantage of the situation by fabricating a heroic tale. It is worth noting that all of Olaf's warriors, who were said to witness the shout duel, went on to become wealthy leaders during Olaf's reign as High King. However, it is equally likely that Svaknir had some grudge against Olaf, and his scandalous verse was an attempt to damage the High King's reputation. Alas, we will never know. I leave you now, good reader, with this gentle reminder. A good historian must remain impartial and consider all points of view. Time has a way of distorting our record of events. So closer, so the closer you can get to the original sources, the better. That's why I am a time traveler. <laughs> ah, Olaf and the dragon. Weird. I kind of expected that to I just be the to. fun story. I need to finish what I'm working on. But keep watching. Watch and learn. Oh. I am. All right. When next we come back, either the stone or the barrow. Who can say? Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>